Hi everyone, I'm Pat Prokop, retired meteorologist. This is Saturday, July 22nd, and it's turning out to be a rainy afternoon across a large portion of southeastern Georgia. Not so much yet in South Carolina, but maybe some more rain coming into that area for tonight. So with that being said, let's take a look at the uh, satellite imagery right now. And there you can see a cluster of showers and thunderstorms associated with a large area of cloud bank as well. Uh, and most of that covers uh, the southern half of Georgia moving into the southern portions of South Carolina. Now, looking at the uh, lightning associated with that, a lot of the lightning is farther to the south. Most of that was basically south of the Ottomaha River this afternoon and then uh, extending down into the northern portions of Florida. And looking at the conditions right now, Looks like the storms have maxed out and they're beginning to wane as this time or get less and, and, and weakening somewhat. Some cl clusters of stronger thunderstorms developing off the coast of uh, Jacksonville, Florida and St. Augustine, Florida right now. But uh, the clouds are moving into the greater Savannah area uh, at this moment. Looking at the uh, radar summary, there you can see uh, quite a bit of rain associated with that severe thunderstorm watch that was in effect until 8 o'clock this evening. Uh, for the southern portions of Georgia and northern portions of Florida. And uh, there you can see the rain associated with that system as it continues to march off toward the east. Some of the rain moving upward into the Savannah area. Uh, let's go back and look at that one right there. Here's the um, Savannah radar. Actually, Charleston National Weather Service uh, serving this radar out of Grays, North Carolina, which is or South Carolina, which is right here um, in northwest portions of uh, Jasper County. Anyway, some light rain is falling in the greater Savannah area at this moment, moving across the river in toward uh, Hilton Head and the Bluffton Beaufort area. And so far here, I picked up three one hundredths of an inch of rain uh, this afternoon. After some sweltering temperatures earlier this morning, I was out cutting the grass and uh, actually I was out weeding and it was it was hot to say the least. All right, let's take a look once again back at the radar. I want to show you this. Um, I want to show you this radar view here. Uh, this is actually the amount of precipitation, storm total precipitation. And this is from the um, uh, Valdosta radar from Moody Air Force Base. And, and there you can see uh, this area here around Pearson to Douglas, uh, about three to four inches of rain fell out there this afternoon. And over here around the Waycross area, up to Blackshear into the northern portions of the Okefenokee Swamp, about uh, two to three inches of rain, and then further to the east around Nahunta, just to the south southeast of Nahunta, about three to four inches of rain there, extending into western portions of Glen County, central Glen County, getting about two inches of rain, and then lesser rains as you get toward the uh, St. Simons Island area. Off here in the north in the Savannah area, not much at all. Only three one hundredths of an inch so far has fallen this afternoon. Uh, so let's go back now to the uh, conditions elsewhere across the area. All right, let's go back to the uh, regional area and looking at the forecast maps. Here we got uh, the uh, uh, the regional global environmental multiscale model, or the RGM, and uh, it's showing the conditions right now this uh, late Saturday afternoon with the rains going off and on throughout the evening hours. So it might have a wet night uh, here in the greater Savannah area, most of the southern portions of Georgia, a little bit in South Carolina, but not too much. Uh, then as we go through the uh, day tomorrow, Sunday afternoon, more showers and thunderstorms redevelop across the area. Looks like uh, more uh, activity in the afternoon and evening hours. We might see an inch of rain or more on some of these thunderstorms that were expected to develop. And then by uh, 2 o'clock Monday morning, that rain moves off the coast and out of the area. And there's a slight chance for some showers moving in on Monday. Then drying out weather conditions will prevail after that. All right, what's going on in the Atlantic Ocean? There we have uh, Hurricane Don now. Don uh, has just gone up to 75 miles per hour, but it's uh, no threat to any land mass out there. And then this investigation over here uh, is expected to... Uh, continue moving westward and it has a, a moderate chance of developing into a tropical depression. But will it become a hurricane? Most likely not. Will it become a tropical storm? Again, most likely not. Let's take a look at the satellite imagery first of all. And uh, there you can see Don right there. And Don uh, definitely has an eye at the moment as it's spinning around in the north central Atlantic Ocean. Now that wave to the south of us uh, 
there. Where is it? There it is, right over here. It's, it's barely visible right now. It's, it's, the sun is setting now as well. Uh, it's now uh, 5.30 uh, Savannah time. But anyway, let's take a look at the uh, uh, forecast model here. And there's Don right there. Uh, and then this wave is over here. Uh, so let's put this into motion. And this is the global forecast model. And you can see that wave in the Atlantic does not develop at all. And Don just moves into the cool waters of the North Atlantic and fizzles out. Any more waves? There's a little wave trying to develop over here uh, by a week from Tuesday. This is about 10 days out. And uh, other than that, not much going on in the Atlantic Ocean, so nothing there to be concerned about at this time. Meanwhile, let's go over into the uh, conditions for our local area and see how much rain has been falling or will be falling across the area. The forecast rain uh, for the greater Savannah area for Saturday night, about a quarter of an inch and about another half inch or more on Sunday and another quarter inch of rain Sunday night into early Monday morning. All in all, about an inch uh, or more of rain in the greater Savannah area. Interior portions of southeastern Georgia, well, further to the south, Darien expected to get a lot more rain again for tomorrow, about two and a half, about two inches of rain there. And uh, other locations, what about Waycross? Waycross was soaked today. Uh, tomorrow, uh, not quite as much, uh, some rain there, about three quarters of an inch in the next two days. And then going into South Carolina, looking at the Hilton Head area, Again, not much rain this afternoon. Tonight, about a two-tenths of an inch, a fifth of an inch of rain, about a half inch of rain coming into a quarter inch of rain for uh, Sunday. And then going into um, Sunday night, Monday morning, about another uh, half, a quarter inch of rain. But all in all, about two-thirds of an inch of rain, a little bit more further inland around Hardyville, uh, expecting a little bit more rain there. Gardens Corner, about an inch, almost two inches of rain expected there. So, you know, keep an eye on the rain gauges because you're going to see quite a bit of rain. What about those temperatures? Again, uh, a little bit cooler now. You know, I was out there working earlier this morning and it wasn't that hot, but it was still hot. And I was still sweating quite a bit, uh, but it wasn't as hot as yesterday. Yesterday topped off at 99 degrees. Today, it looks like 93 was, was the high temperature. And we're going to see those temperatures basically in the middle 90s to lower 90s for the next uh, several days and then by uh, middle the end of next week we're going to go back into the mid 90s overnight lows basically will be in the middle 70s across most locations over here in the hilton head area uh, again um, not as hot but it's still rather warm actually in the on the islands uh, hilton head island in the upper 80s for sunday well that's because of cloud cover and rainfall expected across that area then back into the lower 90s after that what about that heat index value you know the heat index has been really wild lately with uh, temperatures about 110 in several locations over the last couple of days, but uh, not so much for the remainder of today. Uh, and then for tomorrow, maybe hitting 100 degrees, the heat index at that, that's what it feels like. And, uh, and then going into um, Monday, again, upper 90s to low 100s, same thing for Tuesday. Uh, Wednesday, a little bit warmer, about 102, 103. Uh, and then by Friday, a little bit more increase in humidity, more increase in temperature. We'll see those heat index values getting into the 100, 105 region uh, across the region. And looking at the um, uh, Hilton Head, Bluffton area, again, the same thing. Uh, next Friday looks like it's going to be rather toasty across our area. And for the next uh, 6 to 10 day, the forecast uh, calling for much of the southeast, south central, center portion of the country, uh, above normal temperatures. And, and normal high for us this time of the year is 93 degrees. So yeah, it's going to be hot. Even with normal temperatures, it's hot, but it's going to be above normal. So we're going to stay hot. It looks like we're going to dry out. After this weekend, uh, we're going to dry out somewhat. And um, what about the uh, 8 to 14 day forecast? See what that looks like. Yeah, we're still above normal, but not quite above uh, as much as we were earlier. Still hot and uh, still uh, not so much rainfall expected uh, over the um, a period by the th through the end of July. And if I look at the uh, six week forecast, uh, my six week forecast is calling for those temperatures. Uh, to be um, about normal, slightly above normal to about normal rainfall, close to normal. But this is our wet time of the year, so the rain will be um, significant. We could see it on the average about an inch and a half of rain per week uh, for the next six weeks. And we're going to be uh, pretty close to that value. 
So it's going to be uh, still, you know, hot because, what the, you know, July is a hot time of the year for our area. And expect to see the uh, chances for showers and thunder showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon. But the rain chances will be decreasing to scattered activity by the uh, middle of next week. And then for the next, looks like um, 10 days thereafter. Highs in the low to middle 90s with a chance for those afternoon showers and thunder showers and thunderstorms. Rain chance will probably be around 30% for the next several days. So, uh... I'll keep an eye on the tropics for you, and I'll keep an eye on all the other conditions of the weather and what's up in the sky. I'll be doing one of those videos coming up shortly as well. Uh, you have uh, Venus and uh, Mercury standing side by side right now, fading out of view in the western sky. And then the big planets, the uh, giants, uh, uh, Saturn and Jupiter, are becoming prominent in the nighttime sky and other things as well up in the sky at the night. So with that being said, I'll see you later. Bye.